everyone. Today I'm going to demonstrate how I make my simple and easy um, Hawaiian style chicken enchiladas. And all you need are some simple ingredients. All you need is your enchilada sauce, whether you're going to do the green chilies uh, or regular. This is just regular mild enchilada red sauce, but of course they have the green sauce. You need whatever meat you're going to use. You can use ground beef, you can use your ground um, pork. Um, this is chicken breast that I've just diced up. You need your tortillas, whichever ones you want to use. Um, and then, of course, your seasonings. Your cheese, you can use shredded. I'm using actually a shredded cheese, Mexican cheese, as well as a liquid cheese. So you can use whichever you want or both of them like I am. So the first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and cook our chicken with our pineapples. I season my chicken with one teaspoon of brown sugar, a little bit of my all-purpose garlic seasoning, as well as some Greek all-purpose. Hold on, Pungin. I'm gonna cook my chicken a little bit before I add in my pineapples. So I'm gonna cook this about three to five minutes and then we'll add in the pineapples. I'm sorry, Alana is <laughs> pulling on me. You wanna say hi? Say hi. Okay, she's with me tonight. My girls are actually at choir rehearsal. So in about three to five minutes, we'll come back and we'll add in our pineapples. Okay, once your chicken is about halfway done, you want to go ahead and add in your pineapples. This one's got to have a little close-up. We're going to go ahead and add in our pineapple. It's just fresh pineapple, that's all. And now we're just going to cook this another three minutes. And it will be done. Maybe five minutes, three to five minutes. Okay, you all, so my chicken with my pineapples is good to go. My chicken is done. You don't want to overdo it because it is going into the oven. Now, while I was cooking my chicken, I had my oven preheating to 375. In the bottom of this baking dish is just a little enchilada sauce, not much, just some to lay at the bottom. And you can do one of two things. You can just add your fillings to your... Um, tortilla you can fold it over like that and just lay it this way the way I'm going to do mine is just like a taco so the first I'm going to do is I'm going to dip mine in my enchilada sauce that I have here I'm going to add in my fillings and then I'm going to lay mine like this into the pan and you'll see what I'm talking about so you just want to dip it in and you don't have to do it this way <laughs> this is just my way And then you could just lay half of it down like that. I'm gonna go ahead and add in my toppings and I'll show you all. Not toppings, but my inside. Now I'm also gonna add in some cheese and this is gonna be a messy, messy process, but it's okay. Let me let you all see that. So you see how I have it laying in there like that? And all you're gonna do is just take your tortilla and fold it over like that. See them like that. Okay, uh -oh. and I'll show you all once I set my all mine up. I'm going to do each one the same way, and then before I pour my cheese on, I'll let you all see it. Okay, you all, I just wanted you to see. I know it's kind of messy, and I'm sorry, Alana is, my daughters are at rehearsal. I don't know if I said that already, so she's in the kitchen. <laughs> but this is what mine look like. So like I said, you can also fold them another way. So we have our sauce in the bottom. We have that going on on top now, I'm not done. Since I still have some topping, some filling, I keep saying topping, since I still have some chicken and pineapple left, I'm just gonna put that on top because what else are we gonna do with it, right? So I'm just gonna put that on top like that. There's no point in wasting it. I love enchiladas because they're so easy to make. And really, you can make yours how you want to. The main thing is just having your enchilada sauce, your tortillas, your cheese, and whatever you're going to put in them. So don't feel like they have to be a certain way. In your kitchen, your rules, everything is right. <laughs> All right, so we have our red sauce. I'm going to go ahead and add some cheese. 
This is my cheese sauce. I'll show you all the Mexican cheeses that I'm using. I'm just gonna pour this on top. Just like that. This is a, a spicy cheese, but I'm sure they probably have some that's not spicy. And then I'm just gonna use the rest of my white cheese. Can you all see that? Let me make sure you all can see. So, you see that? I'm just gonna add my shredded cheese. Okay, Lana, I'm coming. Mommy's coming. All right, so you all see that? So I'm gonna put this in the oven on 375. We're gonna give it 15 minutes. I'm not gonna cover mine, but you can cover yours if you want to. And we'll come back and check it in 15 minutes. Hold on, pumpkin. Lana. Okay, you all, here's the finished product of our enchiladas. I'm gonna go ahead and just add a little bit of pico. We have our pico minus cilantro. <laughs> because I didn't have any cilantro. <laughs> so we're just gonna use what we have. <laughs> and my daughter's not here to taste them for you all. I'm not doing the carbs. So I'll take one out for you all so you can just see it. Uh oh. I'm sorry if the video is sideways because I think I started recording it long ways. So it may be sideways and I do apologize. While I'm getting that together, this is the cheeses I used. This is the liquid cheese I used. This is the name of it. It's by Ponchos. And then this is the cheese I usually use. So let me take one out for you. All right. And I'm sorry, my daughter is like literally making a mess in the background. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut it. I may have to take a bite of that. I just can't take that out and not take a bite now. All right, y'all. Mm, mm, mm. See, I see it. Let y'all know what was inside. It looks so good. <sighs> All these carbs. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Oh, this is like. Mmm. Doing some in my mouth. Mmm, mmm, mmm. It should be a sin. See, that's why I didn't want to take one bite. Because I knew I was going to want more than one bite. Mmm. It's good. It's good. Mmm. The pineapple is really. Mmm. Mmm, mmm. Okay, my daughter. <laughs> this is so good. If you try it, let me know. Thank you all so much for watching and you have a wonderful blessed evening.